yeah, we back. Now, I'll be honest, man. I'm very disappointed at the news that I got it delivered today. I'm very disappointed at what I got to speak about today. Now, if you look up on the screen, you'll see I got a post from Instagram. To the right, you see Kevin Lyles, respected black entrepreneur, businessman, record executive, black man who's been doing his thing, a very successful black man who has been very prosperous in his line of work, going all the way back to when he worked with Jay-Z in the late 90s, right? So, honestly, as we know, Young Thug currently in court, currently locked up, currently incarcerated because he's fighting a case against the state of Georgia. The prosecutors in Georgia allege that Young Thug is a mob boss, a crime boss, and they said that he has used the money generated through his music career to advance his influence in the streets, right? By actually calling assassinations, by just getting involved in typical street nonsense, man. Typical street nonsense, renting out cars so people can commit crimes, things like that. So eventually, it caught up to him. A lot of people snitched, a lot of people cooperated with the authorities. Many people ended up getting plea deals, getting out early, things like that. Young Thug is currently sitting because he's the big fish and they're the one that he wants. In my opinion, I think he's gonna go away for a very long time. I think his career is over, but I could be wrong. But we're not here today to discuss the Young Thug case. We're here today to discuss something else. Now, if you read the post I got up on the screen, it says this, hashtag free Jeff. The man I know is a loving father, great business partner, and an inspiration to so many people around the world. Stay strong, my brother. And you know where I stand. Hashtag I'm with him. Hashtag my brother's keeper. Hashtag say let's do more. Now, I understand Kevin Lyles, entrepreneur, businessman. I understand. I believe that Young Thug was signed to one of his, uh, I believe that Young Thug is actually signed to his record label, 300 Entertainment. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I understand why he's going to bat for his artist, his investment, number one, his investment. But I'm very disappointed in the fact that just last month, just last month, everybody was calling for the incarceration of Tory Lanez. Because he allegedly shot at Megan Thee Stallion. And here we have Young Thug, right? Fighting a case where people actually got shot and then didn't make it. According to the state of Georgia, Young Thug has been going around terrorizing the streets of Atlanta, right? Terrorizing black men all over Atlanta. I remember during the Tory Lanez case, people were telling me, you know, protect black women. You know, he shot her in the toe. Protect black women. You know, black men misogynist. And now we got a black man who he didn't shoot no black people in the toe. He didn't shoot no black woman in the toe. According to the state of Georgia, Young Thug has actually gotten black men erased from existence, right? He actually got black men deleted, right? But we're supposed to free this guy. People are talking about free him, free Young Thug, right? I, it's crazy to me, man. It's crazy, right? So if a black man goes around literally erasing black men off the face of the earth, we're supposed to free him, right? But if a black man shoots a black woman in the toe, He's supposed to get locked up for two decades. Now, I'm not coming to the defense of Tory Lanez. My brother, like I said, I got five sisters. So if y'all brothers out here bringing out firearms and point firearms at women and blasting, then I don't got no love for you either. But what I want is for y'all to be consistent. What I want is for y'all to not hold no double standards. At the end of the day, no. Like I said in my previous videos, listen, I'm starting the hashtag keep young thug movement. Kevin Lyle's talking about free Jeff. Nah, hashtag keep Jeff. Keep Jeff. (laughs) <laughs> I don't care about any investment that Kevin Lyles made. I don't care if you invested millions of dollars and you about to lose your investment. I don't give a goddamn, bro. I don't give a goddamn. If what the state of Georgia is saying is true about Young Thug, he don't. He deserves to rot. He deserves to rot in the state of Georgia, bro. Forget that. Y'all talking about what? When I see posts like this, it just confirms to me that the lives of black men have no value in society. Honestly, man. Honestly, man. Nobody. Anytime I see y'all talking about free Young Thug, bro, I, I just shake my head, man. I just shake my head. Keep Young Thug. Don't ever let Young Thug out. Keep him for the next 405 years. I don't give a goddamn. Imagine a Jewish man going around terrorizing other Jewish people in the community, right? Using his money, using his resources to terrorize other Jewish men in the community. And then people talking about free him, free him, free Ben Goldstein. What? Get out of here, man. Only in our community do you see such foolish behavior foolish activity and foolish statements being made in the public arena kevin Lyles, i'm disappointed in you big bro because number one like i said you're a wealthy black man you're an intelligent black man there's a reason why you're the executive and he's the artist and he's the employee and you're the boss all right your iq is 10 times higher than his that's why he's behind bars and you're probably somewhere chilling at your vacation house smoking a cigar sipping wine at the end of the day everything ain't about the money bro everything ain't about the money big bro certain things it's about the principles it's about the morals if what the prosecutor is saying is true we ain't got to stand with him. Just like we ain't stand with Tory Lanez. I didn't see you standing next to Tory Lanez. I ain't see you trying to go to bat for Tory Lanez. But now you want to go to bat for this clown? Kevin Lyles, you better than that, bro. You smarter than that. We respect you out here, bro. At least I respect you. I respect your business acumen. I respect your accomplishments. I respect you. I respect what you achieved in life. I respect you as a black man. Listen, we ain't, no, keep Young Thug, bro. Keep Jeff. 
keep Jeff. All right, that's the movement, big bro. Keep Jeff. That's the movement, and that's how we coming, man. Anyways, man, it's your boy Nevercari. That's Celine back in the building. Yes, indeed, and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applaud it. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young Monte Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so elite. Shorty be charged that I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.